everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my second update to the eighth round of the roulette pan club. So we've been doing this for a while and most of you probably already know the rules to this project. But if you want to know more, I will leave my introduction to this round in my description box so you can go and check that out. But basically this is a project that was started by my friend Rebecca and I. And yeah, we've been doing this, This, as I said, the eighth round. <laughs> we've been doing this for quite a while and I still really, really enjoy this project and I'm so, so happy that so many of you guys are enjoying this as well and just keep joining us in all of these rounds. We did two rounds, just the two of us, and then we opened it up to everyone and there are people that have been doing all the rounds and just amazing. So yeah. I know I keep bringing this up, but thank you everyone again for joining this project. I will have a playlist in my description box where you can find everyone doing this project on YouTube. And then if you search the hashtag roulette pan collab, uh, you can find everyone doing this on Instagram. Also, before we get into my update, I wanted to give a shout out to the Discord server that Rebecca and I started for this project, which is called kind of the panning club. Uh, and in that you can just chat with people, uh, there's like the people in that chat server or like on that server right now uh, are amazing people and we have a lot of interesting discussions and if you want to join in those discussions, uh, yeah, just click the link in my description box and that will take you to the server. We also do some challenges, I was supposed to do a challenge this weekend but I kind of forgot, so I'm gonna, cause it's Saturday today, so maybe we'll do that next weekend. My memory card got full, so the angle might have changed, probably. Um, but what was I saying? Yeah, I'm gonna swatch three eyeshadows from my collection, and then uh, everyone's gonna kind of try and pick shadows from their collection that are as close as possible to those three shadows and then create the look. So it will be kind of, like the, the, the thing I had in mind was when you do a, kind of palette bingo and someone gets like five different shades or four different shades and then you start like if you're watching someone's palette bingo you start like imagining what kind of look you would do and then they do something completely different and I feel like that's very interesting so I, that's kind of why we do this and I think that could be a fun challenge so if you want to join that click the link in my description box to the discord server but yeah Enough of the rambling, also if you haven't checked out Rebecca yet, she will be linked in my description box, she's an amazing person, she's been so consistent with videos recently, if you haven't checked her out yet, you're missing out on some amazing content. But yeah, let's get into the update on my items, so I have two items where I'm doing really poorly, so let's go through those first. This is the Verse the Shortcut Overnight Facial Peel. I really, really enjoy the feeling of this going on, but I only used it once over the past month. Uh, so now I'm gonna, I think after I'm done filming this, I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna see if I have like some kind of tray and put that kind of on my, um, not on the counter, it's called counter in the bathroom. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put it in my bathroom, like so when I wash my face in the evening, it will be like right there so I can see it and then I can put it on and hopefully that will make me use this more because I do really, really enjoy the feeling of it going on. It doesn't like, it's a very kind of, it's not very thick, but it's it has a very kind of luxurious like more thick feeling. Uh, it's definitely not like a gel type formula, anything like that and that's not it's not like a thin formula and I really really enjoy that feeling uh, like in the in the p.m. when I'm going to bed so yeah uh, hopefully I will use it more but yeah basically no progress on that one oops okay the next one <laughs> is the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette and in this palette I told you I wanted to use please don't look at my nails uh, but I wanted to use this shade and this shade 10 times each and I think I am wearing them today and I think that is the second time or third time that I've worn them in this product so I'm gonna I'm gonna promise to be better with using these until next time and maybe I could even like get to maybe I can even get eight uses in over the next 
month that would be cool and then I could roll this out uh, and just use them because I, I mean they're really pretty shades it's just I put this in uh, for I think it was for a color I don't reach for uh, or I'm afraid to I mm, can't remember but it was something with something I'm not like reaching for something I'm drawn to I, I'm not sure uh, but I picked this one because it was uh, I'm like, like really drawn to those types of colors and then I never wear them uh, so that is why I picked those so I'm still on brand not wearing them enough uh, but I'm gonna make an effort over the next month and then the next four items I'm doing better with so let's uh, go through those first off I have this L'Oreal lip lacquer in the shade Gone with a Nude and this one was for my favorite nude I am wearing it on my lips today like oh, nothing else just this one uh, and I've been wearing it um, not like super often but I feel like more often recently uh, but there's still like quite a bit of product in here um, so yeah it's it's gonna take me a while we'll see uh, if I can finish this by the end of this product I'm hoping I will and then we have one which is very hard to see progress because it's huge and this was for a ca the category something I'm afraid to pan um, and maybe you can like you can see that I've used it but it's not like I have a dip or anything it's just kind of I've, I've touched the surface I am wearing it today I really 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 enjoy this one it was completely new when I put it in uh, so you, you can see that I have used it uh, but I do really really like it. I like how easy it is to apply, how like effortless it is to apply. I apply it with a like beauty blend or a beauty sponge. Like I uh, I wet it and then I apply my makeup, my concealer, and then I just kind of put the sponge in here and just go onto my face. So it's super super easy to use and something like it fits really well into my routine. So I do really enjoy that and I use it every time I'm doing my makeup. Then I have this one which I'm doing really well on. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. And as you can see the first one is from the intro and then the second line is from my first update and then now we're at the bottom line. So I actually think I will be able to use this up before the next update which is exciting. I feel like this must be really... Um, I don't know, I feel like the glass must be really thick because I feel like it's moving really quickly without me using it like every single day so yeah this probably not like it says it's 30 milliliters in here I don't know if I need a lot to like cover my face but I don't know it just feels like it's moving really quickly uh, but I do I'm I'm like 100% certain I will be able to use it up within this project which is exciting uh, then the last product is actually one that I hit my goal on this is the makeup store compact powder in translucent and my goal was to hit pan in this one and as you can see I did uh, so I'm super excited about that I do really really enjoy this powder so I wasn't excited to like pull it out uh, but it was time for me to work on some of my, of my other powders just because this is my favorite powder so I don't feel like I'm in a rush to use this up so I'm gonna roll this out and then let's roll in another category or another product so I'm gonna go to pretty because those were all of my items I'm gonna go to pretty random again okay, and then I put in 1 through 100 100 and then I'm gonna roll 69 I don't believe I've had 69 before but let's see okay so a, a category 69 is a product in your collection that doesn't get enough love I feel like that is <laughs> a lot of items in my collection but I'm gonna see if I can pull something out and then I will be right back okay so when I think of the category as something in my collection that doesn't get enough love I feel like I should go with something that I do really love like or like if there's something in my collection that I love using but I don't use it often enough and I have a few uh, that could be applicable to that category like I really really love uh, the Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero glow kit and I am not I'm not panning a highlight right now so I could pick that uh, but I also feel like lipsticks are pretty much 
neglected in my collection at least right now and one of my favorite formulas are the uh, Call Pop Lux uh, lipsticks um, I feel like like I love the weight of the packaging I love the feel of the packaging I love that it has like this kind of closure and just I like the like imprinting on the bullet and then I also really really like the formula and so I decided to go with one of my Call Pop lipsticks and this one is in the shade Quickie and I believe I believe this was a collaboration with Shayla but I'm not completely sure but I did chose to go with this one and this is what it looks like and I feel like that could look pretty underneath um, underneath this lip gloss right here um, so I'm gonna be pairing them and hopefully use this one more I'm gonna probably take like a picture and then maybe we can compare the picture like next in my next update and see if you can like if there's any like visible progress I'm hoping it will be but I'm notoriously bad at panning lipstick so probably not but that is the product that I'm going to pick for that category and that will be wrapping up my update so as I said please check out all of the links in my description box there will be a lot more information down there uh, that I did not mention in this update and yeah please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it please consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one bye